In our health news today, uh, more than 11 million people actually suffer from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. You probably know it as COPD, which includes a number of lung problems like emphysema. In our health cast today, we have details on a new approach to help these patients breathe a little bit easier. 20 years ago, Stanley Williams was diagnosed with the early stages of emphysema. The biggest problem I had is I was prone to things like uh, bronchitis. As time went on, sometimes the bronchitis would become pneumonia. Over the years, the disease progressed to the point where Stanley struggled to breathe. He went to a specialist at Holy Cross Hospital for help. When I first went to him, we basically looked into every procedure available. And at that time, I could qualify for none of them. What I had was too spread out. Lead pulmonologist Dr. Sam Kosefi was recently able to offer Stanley Hope through a treatment option using a device called the Zephyr Valve, which is FDA approved for patients with severe emphysema. Patients who already um, are on optimal um, uh, inhaler therapy, um, oxygen, um, underwent pulmonary rehabilitation, and they still want to do more. While the patient is under general anesthesia, the tiny valves are inserted into the diseased areas of the lungs through a minimally invasive approach. We went down with a camera tube through the nose down to um, his, uh, his, his lungs, you know, through the windpipe, and we already pre-selected the lobe that has most of the emphysema. Basically, all what we did is we deflated his uh, left upper lobe, that it's a diseased, inefficient lobe, um, and this way we allowed the rest of the healthier portion of the lungs um, to uh, inflate and take in more air. After a few days in the hospital, Stanley was back home and says with each passing day, his breathing does improve. He and his wife, Loretta, are now making plans for the future. I'm extremely astounded about this. And we should also tell you these special valves have also been used to help many patients who also suffer from a lung collapse.